Hi, and welcome back to the Suburban Chateau, and happy Valentine's Day. My name is Stephanie Everett, and tonight I'm gonna to be sharing with you the Suburban Chateau Guide to Romantic Living. Now, if the Guide to Romantic Living sounds a, just a tad familiar, it's because if you're as old as I am, you might be remembering a book that a very famous actress put together, and her name was Jane Seymour. And Jane Seymour came out in 1987 with the Jane Seymour Guide to Romantic Living. And it's packed full of great stuff, especially if you're a millionaire actress, um, all kinds of ways that you can add romance into your life. And of course, nobody does romance like Jane Seymour. If you've ever seen Somewhere in Time or my mom and my particular favorite, The Scarlet Pimpernel with Anthony Andrews. And uh, she shares a ton of beautiful pictures of her in all kinds of acting, all kinds of modeling. It's just gorgeous. So check out this book because this is the inspiration for tonight's Guide to Romantic Living. Now, back in the late 80s, I was very interested in the Jane Seymour Guide to Romantic Living. And in the early 90s, I was just a young thing still, just getting out of college. And I had just moved to Hollidaysburg, and I had just been here maybe a year or so. And I heard about this contest on the radio. And for the contest, they were going to proclaim the most romantic person in our little county, which is Blair County in Pennsylvania. And I thought, well, I know I'm the most romantic person in Blair County, just no one knows it because here I am, you know? And uh, so the contest revolved around writing a poem. And whatever poem received the most amount of donations to the American Heart Association won the most romantic person in Blair County. Well, I had a lot of sympathetic friends who also wanted to see me win the most romantic person in Blair County, but um, they came out and supported my poem. And uh, then I was able to actually have my poem featured on a local radio station. And I recorded the poem with some beautiful romantic music in the background and me reciting the poem. Later on, the poem I turned into a song and I called it Real Romance, which is the title of the poem. The poem is about really not all that fancy romantic stuff that's expensive and the gifts and diamonds and chocolates and all those things that you think of with Valentine's Day, but it's the simple stuff. It's the actions that go with love that make a real romantic life. And so the song is a little bit more about the putting the action into romance. What is the meaning of true romance? Is it buying her dinner or learning to dance? Chocolates are nice, but diamonds will last. You know, hugs and kisses are a thing of the past. Roses are fragrant and so is perfume. Or maybe a ride in a big red balloon. How much does it cost? Can you get it for free? Why certainly, gentlemen, it's easy to see. I'll tell you the meaning of true romance. It's a hug after midnight, a reassuring glance. It's taking the time to tell her you care and holding her hand when she needs you there. Walks in the sunset, nights by the fire, filling her gas tank and fixing her tire. Taking her shopping, swaying till dawn, driving in snow, and yes, mowing the lawn. It's not in the gifts or the objects you buy that makes you one outstanding romantic guy. It's in the giving, the sharing, the loving you do that keeps the true romance flowing from you. Now, all kidding aside, I did write a poem. It's a lot of fun. I made it into a little song and it was sort of fun back all those years ago to have the title for a few minutes as the most romantic person in Blair County. And then it was just a few short years until I met my husband after that, uh, that uh, experience. But tonight I just want to explore some things that really help us live our most romantic life. And it's just simple things. And I think since COVID, we've really had a reality check with our lives. We are appreciating the simple things in life more, enjoying time with our families more. I know personally, I just enjoy having more time on my own to work. And again, having the little lockdown kind of gave me that uh, break from hustle and bustle and Sometimes I need that still um, just to keep myself in check. So tonight we're just going to give a few suggestions as to how to make your life the best romantic life you can. And what are the simple things you can do in your life to kind of make you the most romantic person in your house?
Now, one of my favorite romantic things is to have candles burning. And it's a safety issue. You wanna make sure you sure blow them out before you go to bed or leave the house. Um, but I'm pretty careful about uh, candles, but I love to have the scent in the house. And different scents really speak to me. Everyone has different things they like. I'm gonna recommend a few things uh, that you can try out. If you're gonna go for something that's a little less expensive, I highly recommend the um, Mainstays candles from Walmart. This one is hazelnut cream. I really like the mold apple cider one as well. They're only about $4 for a candle this size and they pack a punch with scent and they can really fill a room. I absolutely love these and uh, there's tons of different scents. They also have the Better Homes and Gardens candles at Walmart. So Walmart is a great place to start. Maybe bump it up a notch and um, if you wanna check out one of my videos about making candles, these are soy candles that I've made myself because I love candles. This is a lemon pound cake. And I found a, a beautiful old vintage um, sherbet and I put the candle right there in, in the vintage sherbet. And these are like great for gifts, but they're amazing candles as well. And they have high scents. Um, I use the Our Candle Company um, oils when I'm making my candles and um, they really put off a powerful scent. And the last type of candle that I'm gonna mention is the White Barn Candle Company. Now you may be familiar with them from um, Bath & Body Works. Now my favorite scent there is a very popular scent this time of year. It is called Strawberry Pound Cake. And I wish you could smell this on camera. It is so amazing. It's got a sweet, it's got a little bit of strawberry. And of course it just has that like luscious sweet pound cake scent to it. And um, it's amazing. So this is the most expensive of the three options, but they seem to last pretty well and they definitely fill a room with scent. So candles, a great way to get yourself into a romantic mood, get that ambiance going. Now, one thing that can really up your romantic quotient is to find a friend to cuddle with. And this is Diamond, and Diamond is very fun to cuddle with, especially when she's in the mood, which it looks like right now she's in the mood to cuddle. Um, but maybe you have a husband you can cuddle with, or a boyfriend, or a significant other, or maybe a furry friend like Diamond. But cuddling is a great way to feel that romance, that sense of belonging and love. And uh, you're a good cuddler, Diamond. Mm -hmm. Now, one other thing I really love that makes me get into that romantic mood, of course, is scent. And we talked a little bit about the candles before. I do love soaps and all different types of soaps. Um, but one thing I really enjoy, rather than wearing perfume on a daily basis, is more of an essential oil spray. Now, um, I found the aromatherapy sprays um, at Bath & Body Works. They're very reasonable, and especially if you can get a buy one, get a couple free type of thing. Um, this one is orange and ginger. I got another one before that's orange and another scent together with it. It's very fresh. It's it doesn't have a chemical smell to it, so there's not like an after smell. Many times, I don't know if it's because of my age, but I am really bothered by perfumes having like an after scent to them. And so I tried some of these essential sprays, and they I think they even call it a pillow spray, but I use it as a body spray. Um, and I like several of the different ones, and they have a good one that's for sleep too that has lavender in it. And another thing, I'll um, these I found on a website called Sage, Essence Botanicals, and uh, I'll try to put a link in the description. These are chakra sprays, and they last forever. They're essential oils, and um, if you're lacking in an area, you can spray with a chakra spray. I tend to be more intuitive, and so I go ahead and bump that intuition up with uh, a third eye chakra spray, and um, I really find that it's beautiful. Uh, this one has a lot of lavender in it, and um, I put it in combination with the other essential oil sprays that I use. But there's all kinds of essential oils that you can get um, these days. And um, I just tend to like the natural smells better than chemical perfume. So that's one way that you can uh, kind of 
get into that mm, kind of relaxed and uh, romantic mood. One way you can really get the romance going in your life is just to take a day for yourself. Take a self-care day. Maybe go to a spa, maybe get a pedicure, maybe get a massage, something like that. And it can really sort of help you kind of get rid of the everyday, the work blues, all of the things that are on your mind and plaguing you. And it gives you just a moment to spend with yourself and give yourself a little bit of pampering. So that's my next tip. And that spa day can start at home. What could be more romantic than a relaxing bubble bath along with your favorite body wash? In this case, it's that strawberry pound cake that I adore so much with a few candles and uh, just the bubbly suds of a wonderful bubble bath. One way that I love to celebrate Valentine's Day, and this is very traditional, no surprises here, is by sending Valentine's. And my parents have an anniversary on Valentine's Day. And so I'm gonna be sending them a little Valentine to celebrate their anniversary. And of course, um, for the Mr. Everett of it all, I have a little Valentine for him. And I think I'm gonna make up a couple of Valentines for some work friends as well, and just sort of surprise them for Tuesday, which is Valentine's Day. One way I like to affirm some romantic living is to send my daughters a little care package on Valentine's Day. And they've come to sort of uh, know it's coming. When they were here at the house, I always used to make up a little gift basket. Now that they live away, um, I send them a little basket of goodies. So this year, of course, we're getting some luscious rose soap. Um, somebody's getting some moisturizing body wash. That looks good. Uh, both girls, I got them a couple packs of um, makeup wipes that sort of have a Valentine's theme. And everybody's getting bath bombs because that's fun. And then I try to um, kind of customize it. One of my daughters is really into nail polish, so she will get a little extra something in her box. Um, and the other one has super tangly hair, so she might get a little detangler in with hers. So this is one way that you can really sort of zhuzh up your romance in your life is to send some romantic gifts out to your loved ones. So as we finish up tonight, I hope you got some great tips for living the romantic life. What do you think, Diamond? Did you get some tips for your best romantic life? And I uh, hope you enjoyed our little poem. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and spend it with those you love. And uh, Look for the simple things and the simple pleasures in life, like your furry friends and your family and uh, just all of your friends in general. So again, happy Valentine's Day from the Suburban Chateau.